Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stephanie from Sums Kitchen and Lifestyle. So guys, hmm. in fact, eh, let me just say Happy New Year first. It's been like how how long i think a month or two i've not filmed i've not videoed i've not touched my camera for a very very long time because guys a lot a whole lot has been going on and um yeah um the good the bad everything happened but we thank god everything happened guys but we thank god we are alive we thank god we are healthy we thank god that yeah Basically, I thank God that I'm able to put on this camera and say hello to you guys because, oh my God, I miss filming. I miss editing. I miss everything, guys. Everything. Anyways, um, I just felt like I should share why I've been off YouTube for a while now. Um, yeah, a, a whole lot happened. My husband was sick. So he had actually had a major surgery. Um, he had a crack in his lower vertebra, guys. And hmm, a lot happened, guys. A whole lot. And you know, living outside um, Nigeria um, with just your husband, your kids, no family members, nobody, guys. You're just alone, just yourself, your family, and God. Somebody at the door, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, so guys. So guys, hmm, where do I start? I don't even know where to start from. I don't know what to say. I don't know where to start this video from. But I just knew I had to face this camera today. And I have to just say something because hmm, I've been I've been procrastinating. You know, I've been saying I will, I will, I will, I will, but yeah. Um the more I plan, I am going to shoot tomorrow. The more I keep planning. So I just grab my camera now. I'm like, face this camera and just say something. Tell your people what has been going on, guys. I I miss, miss, miss you all. I miss filming. I miss editing. I miss holding my cameras. I miss cooking. I miss everything, guys. My life has been, um, I don't want to say in a pause. But a lot, I would say a lot, a lot, a whole lot has been going on. Um, the good, the bad, name it, everything has been going on, guys. Everything. Um, yeah, a lot of you have been reaching out on WhatsApp, on my messages. Those who had my number called me and they were like, oh, Stephanie, what happened? You've not been posting. What's the problem? Guys, hmm. this life, it can switch, eh? it can just switch from you grooving, enjoying and all to something else, you know. Um, we had plants, a whole lot of plants, myself and Joy Eru, guys. We had a whole, a whole lot of plants. So, um, the year started so sweet, so peacefully, aside the fact that, yes, we all know that coronavirus is killing everybody my kids are coming guys yeah they are coming so Mira had has a friend who came to say hello to her and um, I think I don't know they are coming upstairs so bear the noise guys so back to my story hmm. myself and Joy Ero we had a whole lot of plans you know for the year January especially the month of January we had back-to-back -back birthdays First, it was supposed to be Jaden's birthday, and um, she ordered a whole lot of things. I, if you've not seen her video where she um, videoed why things did not um, turn out the way it was supposed to, um, please feel free to go um, to Joy Eros channel and go check it out. Yes. Where did you see it? I, I, I found it in the children's room. Oh, okay. Yes. Hi, Mustafa. Okay, so Mira found her phone and she came. Mommy, 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 I found my phone. She's been looking for her phone for weeks, and I told her I'm not going to help her look for it. Anyways, they've just been interrupting. I'm so sorry for the interruption, guys. I am so so sorry. Back to the story. It's story time today, not cooking time. 
um so yeah jaden's birthday didn't turn out and we were like oh okay it's fine um, let's see my husband's birthday was supposed to be on the 13th of january i had a whole lot of things planned out for him um myself and joy my neighbor you know we had a whole lot of things planned out we've booked the cake we've done everything and on the i think on the 9th yeah on the 9th of january he started complaining he used to you know he's been complaining that his back is paining him like especially when we go for morning walks myself and him sometimes it's like oh my god dear i can't walk anymore um maybe you go get the car and i was like you need to reduce you need to walk out you are lazy ah what i will just keep talking like my god these kids are screaming guys so sorry for the background noise but yeah so hmm, that is how this man I, okay let's go let's go back and see a doctor he's been seeing doctors going for therapists and um a couple of doctors have suggested that we should do surgery that he has a crack vertebra bone but we're like you know sometimes it's not good to just believe what one doctor say let's keep trying but we keep we kept on going to different doctors and they kept on saying the same thing so um he was supposed to travel walk this that a lot of you know back and front and we were so confused if he should do the surgery or not but he said he could not bear the pain anymore he had to go do the surgery guys to cut this whole story short and not keep you because i don't want this video to be so long to cut the whole story short my husband had to go do surgery he was booked in for his surgery on the 13th of january which was supposed to be on his birthday the doctor said it was a small procedure and he should you know be able to you know sit up the next day or something so i drove him to the hospital on the 13th morning i dropped the kid in school came back home drove him to the hospital and um, he was booked in for his surgery by 1 30 pm that evening and the doctor said the surgery was going to take an hour 30 minutes so um i drove him to the hospital they took him into the theater at exactly 1 30 and i said okay dear we prayed together and i was like okay i'm going to let i'm going to go pick up the kids drop them in the house and then i'll go back and by then by god's grace the surgery should have been done and you know gotten over with i did that getting back to the hospital i got to the theater the theater entrance and i was asking this was already um past four and then i was asking them are they done they said no my god i was super scared like i don't think i've ever been so scared in my life like waiting outside the operation room or surgery room when you when the person your family is inside there it's not easy like there was nobody to talk to there was no family there was nothing i was just panicking outside there guys five o'clock my husband was still not out i've not i had not seen him and i kept on asking them what's happening are they done with the surgery they said no i said but they said this surgery was supposed to take an hour 30 minutes guys i started praying i didn't know what to do i called joy ero she kept on calling me back to back to find out what was happening ero and her family were just you know there to support me in prayers and in you know they could not come because see i don't know if things like this want to happen it's like the devil find a way to close that was the time her husband had covid they could not they were quarantined she could not come to me she was there panicking i was here in stress and you know in so much pain and coupled the fact that okay i told the girl who was who was with my kids that i was going to get back by seven because i felt when i get back to the hospital my husband would have been okay i would have seen him maybe i'll go back with the kids put them to sleep come back like i i was planless guys i was so planless because when you are outside nigeria and you don't have anyone living with you and things like this happen that is when you will know that hmm. living abroad eh? it has its pros and cons guys so yeah to cut the whole story short guys um he came out from the theater late that night and they said um um what happened was that when they started 
tearing or going deep inside his back what they had measured or what they had planned was not what they you know saw inside he had he had thick muscles and all so guys let me not bore you with the details and all but yeah basically that was what happened and then um, a day after he kept on saying he had numbness in his left leg he could not stand um they said okay the doctors were like they never take back a patient who they just finish um, surgery um to do an mri basically if he complains like that they tell the patient that um it's going to subside after some days but as god will do it god was working for him and working for us and me and myself and my family um yeah um they had to go do an mri taking him back in an mri they noticed that the screw that was put in his back was bent and bent into the nerve i really do not know how to explain all these medical terms and all guys but that was when i lost it like i went like i felt like my whole world was crashing i felt pain i felt like why 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 is this happening why now i was confused guys and they said they need to take him back to the theater that day i could not take it like guys i could not take it anymore i started crying i called my mom i called my um brother-in-law i called my sister-in-law i called family i called everybody and i just broke into tears and i was telling them what was happening so yeah um story cut short guys we give god all the glory he went back into the surgery came out and he's healing he's healing perfectly well we give god all the glory we cannot thank god enough for the miracle he had done in the life of my husband and in my family and i want to say thank you to everyone each and every one of you who stood by us in prayer you know who helped in one way or the other at the end i could not keep my kids with the help anymore because she had other things to do and joy would have been my next option joy was quarantined because of covid and then i had to go to uche my other friend uche thank you so much you did not know how much i appreciated what you and your husband did for me that day they kept mira and mitchell in their house from 7 a.m that day till i think i picked them up at nine or past nine in the night and they took them out they made sure they did not feel my absence and yeah i'm getting emotional when i get emotional when i think of what happened that day so yeah that's that aside guys so this is like a tip of what has happened um this year but on the brighter side guys your girl is launching her own brand like seriously <laughs> on the brighter side i was working on um my e-commerce site yet to be open it's going to you know i'm going to launch my products and my site on the probably at the end of this month just few things to be done my products have been produced my products have been produced and um, some of them are where guys so get ready to patronize this young lady the name of my brand is soms as usual some the brand name some is not gonna be thrown away so yeah i'm launching my brand some collections guys i'm going to be having a whole lot of things all female things for now probably in future i'm going to be adding maybe kids but for now i'm doing all for now and then um i'm going to also drop the link to my site i'm going to drop the link to my site on the description box guys please go feel free to click on that link fill in your email address so you can get notification when i launch my site guys so this is the good one and the good side of it all but we give god all the glory anyway we just appreciate god for life we appreciate god for everything guys guys we give god all the glory may his name be praised guys thank you so much okay everybody
and come and say hi. <laughs> Introduce yourself to my camera. Mustafa, come. Why are you running away? Hi. So that's Mustafa, Mira's friend, and then, of course, Mira Mitchell. And now, say bye. So guys, I'll see you all in my next video, which is coming on soon. Guys, good news. So much good news popping out. My pillow is obstructing. Manage it like that, guys. This is what happens when you when you don't plan a video. I have to use pillows to, you know, <laughs> lift my camera up. Anyways, so yes, guys, I'll see you all in my next video. For now, ciao, ciao, bye bye, and I love you all. Probably I'll show you how the rest of my today go. I am supposed to go visit Uche so you can at least meet Uche. Then the face behind the name I just called that the lady who helped me save the day, you know. So we're supposed to go um, dinner at Uche's place, have fun just to visit them and all. So we'll see you probably there if I can film, I don't know. But if I don't see you in Uche's house, I will see you at my next video for now. I love you all and honestly from the bottom of my heart i miss 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 you all i miss you all so so much i will see you all in my next video again for now ciao ciao goodbye